Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. Today we are going to learn how to create bar stack chart in SSRS report. We'll prepare our query and then create a chart. And then finally we'll display the data labels on that chart. Let's go to the SSMS SQL Server Management Studio and take a look. Here I have select query with region, country, item sold from table called DBO total sale. So these three columns will be used in our chart. Now the region will be used as categories and then country will be used as series group and then finally we will use item as a values. Now let's go to the SSDT SQL Server Data Tools and then right click on the reports and add a new report. Now click on the report and provide the name. So this is going to be bar stacked chart. Hit add. Click on the data source, add data source and provide the name. Let's call this one DS sales and use a shared data source reference. So it is sales and we have created that already in our project. Now next one will be creating a data set. So use the query and create the data set. So D set sales. If you have a store procedure, you can use a store procedure as well. So select the data source. In our case, we have select query. So hit OK. In the design surface, right click and say insert and go to chart. Once you open a chart, then you have to select the chart type. Here we have different type of charts available and we are interested in the bar. So click on the bar and then the next one is the stacked bar. So if you see that we have the bar and then we see two colors here. So it means the series are stacked on each other. And in the simple bar, you have the val series right next to each other. And here they will be on top of each other. So we will have category and then the category has a series and series will be stacked on each other. That's how the stack uh, bar stack chart will be. Hit OK. And uh, you can see simply from the chart diagram here. These are our categories. So we have A, B, C, D, F. These are our categories. And then these will be the series in that category. And these on the Y x-axis, we have these intervals that will show our item sold values. So let's go and configure it. Double click, chart data. First of all, the values, we want to show the item sold. And next in the categories, let's select the region. So now I have only selected region. I did not select the series group right now. So let's, let's preview the report now and see. And as you can see that uh, for Asia, Europe and North America, these are our, our categories and they are on Y axis here. And then uh, we have interval on uh, X axis and uh, the height or length of these bars are depending on the some of those items sold in each of the region. So in Asia, we have sold uh, around 10 uh, items. In Europe, we have sold uh, uh, close to 20 uh, items and in North America we have sold above 10. Uh, let's put the data labels uh, right click and say show data labels so that will work we have data labels uh, 11 uh, 19 and uh, 10 uh, these are the total items sold in each of the region next part uh, as it is called stacked uh, so what we have to do we have to include the series group uh, that then uh, our countries will be stacked on each other for these bars. So let's select that one. And as you can see that now these bars are converted into the multi colors. So this tells us like, okay, you will have more values on these bars. So we will have regions, still regions on the Y axis. Our interval will be on X axis and countries. We will item sold. Those values will be here, but we will have for each of the country now. So, Let's go ahead and preview it. And as you can see that Asia is further divided into uh, two countries as uh, India and uh, Pakistan. So you can see seven for India and three for Pakistan. And for Europe is uh, total is uh, 19 and uh, France is uh, uh, 17 and uh, Germany is uh, two. So this is how it is, they are stacked. So now we have categories and then our series group are stacked on each other and that's how they will make a bar stacked uh, chart. Now I have done a, 
video how to show the total on top of stack chart so that I have done that one for the column stack chart that will will work exactly the same way in a bar uh, stack chart uh, the expression and everything will be exactly the same so here now as you see this is called bar stack chart and uh, we have the categories on the y-axis and uh, intervals on the x-axis is and in the column chart column stack chart we have the categories on the x-axis and the intervals on the y-axis so let me convert to the column stack chart now and show you so here is our stacked column chart so bar chart bar stack chart or column stack chart they are pretty much the same but the only difference between them is where you are showing your categories in the column we show on the x-axis and interval is on y-axis and in the bar they will be opposite so this is how it will be now our category is on y-axis and interval on x-axis so that's how you will be creating your bar stack chart and if you need to convert between uh, 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 between bar stack chart to the column you can simply right click and change it and uh, vice versa thanks very much for watching this video and i will see you guys in next video